Balance is a state of being where we find centering within ourselves. The practice of balance stops us from rushing from task to task so we can learn to enjoy each moment as is. Through balance, we also gain clarity to let go of things that no longer serve us. During today's practice, we have an opportunity to achieve balance within our bodies through asanas. Off the mat, this will help strengthen the balance in our minds, ultimately leading to more peace in our everyday lives. So let's find some balance in today's practice and meet me in a comfortable seated position. In your comfortable seat, we're gonna take a few cleansing breaths to kick off our practice. So, close your eyes or find your drishti a non-moving point that you can focus on. And we're gonna to begin to center ourselves in through the nose and out through the mouth. Let your hands fall where they may, inhale. And exhale. Consider your posture here, inhale. And exhale. One more time, big deep inhale. And exhale. Find your way into a child's pose. So big toes to touch. You can also take whatever variation you'd like. Sit back towards the heels or on top of the heels. Option to use any props you want. And walk your hands out straight in front of you, bringing your forehead towards the mat. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale, slowly come up into a tabletop position, stacking the wrists under the shoulders, knees under the hips. And I want you to imagine there's a corset tightening in and around your waist. So keep your core nice and tight here. And throughout this entire practice, I'm gonna keep reminding you about that corset, okay? Deep breath in and out. Inhale, we're gonna extend that right arm straight out in front of us, kick the left leg back, come into a balancing tabletop position. Option to keep your left knee on the ground. Otherwise, you're balancing here, deep breath in, and exhale, slowly release. We're gonna repeat the same thing on the opposite side. So opposite arm and opposite leg come out. So inhale, left arm and right leg open up. Exhale, release. Inhale, right arm comes out, left leg goes back. And this time as we exhale, we're gonna crunch, bringing the elbow and the knee to the center and releasing like so. Inhale, crunch. Exhale, back to that balancing tabletop. Inhale, and exhale, hold. And slowly release. Repeating the same thing on the opposite side. Stay nice and strong. Try not to put too much weight into the side that you're balancing on. Inhale, left arm comes out, right leg kicks back and hold here for the exhale. Inhale, crunch. Exhale, reach. Inhale, crunch. Exhale, reach. Inhale, crunch. And exhale, hold that reach. And slowly release. Take a deep breath in. And as you exhale, walk your hands out in front of you, this time keeping the hips stacked above the knees so the hips don't move, but the arms and the chest are melting towards the mat. Come into that puppy pose. Option to bring your forehead to the mat. Option to rest your face on the mat like so and hold here. Inhale. 
inhale and exhale. Inhale, return to that tabletop position. Walk your hand to handprint forward, tuck the toes, send the hips up and back into downward facing dog. Everybody's favorite pose here. Keeping the hips up nice and high, take a deep breath. Add some movement in, maybe shake your head yes, shake your head no. Maybe you move your hips, maybe you shift the body around, whatever movement feels comfortable for three, for two, and one, return back to that neutral down dog position. Inhale, extend that right leg to the sky. Bring the right foot to the right thumb. Inhale, sweep the arms up, high lunge. Find that corset again, keep the core nice and tight and bend deeply into that front leg, keep the arms up nice and high. Inhale, plug the shoulders into your back, squeeze the shoulder blades together, activating that upper back. Option to stay here or you have the option to bend generously into the front leg, so much so that the back leg becomes light and you kick it off into warrior three, keeping the back foot flexed. Option to stay here, option to maybe you wanna place your arms going back like so. Wherever you are, take a deep breath in, hold. And exhale, bend the knee generously. If you rose up, place that back foot back on the mat, return to high lunge. Inhale, look up towards the sky. And exhale, let the hands frame out the front foot. Right foot comes to meet the left and we shift those hips up and back into downward facing dog. Take a couple breaths here. Maybe you add some movement. I can't believe some people call down dog a resting in position, but for this session, it might just be our resting position. Inhale, left leg comes to the sky now. Exhale, bring that left foot to the left thumb. Inhale, sweep the arms up, high lunge position. Remember your corset in and around your waist, so keep that core nice and tight. Bend into that front knee. Take a deep breath in, option to stay here, option to bend so generously into the front leg. Find your drishti, and maybe your back leg comes up into warrior three. And remember, this is your practice, so there is no need. If today you're not feeling like you can make it up here, that's okay. Take a deep breath in. And as you exhale, if you came up off the back foot, lower it down slowly to the mat, return to your high lunge position. Inhale, look up towards the sky. And exhale, take your hands, place them on either side of the left foot. Left foot comes to meet the right, we return to that downward facing dog. Inhale, hold. And exhale, baby step the feet or jump all the way to the hands. Inhale, halfway lift. Look straight ahead, lift your torso roughly halfway. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, reach the arms all the way up overhead. Exhale, let the hands fall to the side. To demonstrate, I'm going to face the long edge of my mat, but you can stay facing the front of your mat. You're nice and tall in your mountain pose. Your shoulders are plugged into your back. Your collarbone is out. You're confident. You're right here with me. From here, bring the sole of your right foot to the inner left leg. Option to stay here or option to place the foot wherever you'd like along the leg, coming into tree pose. Find your drishti if you're having trouble balancing, or maybe you wanna have your drishti just because. Option to keep your arms floating down, option to become a tree and grow branches. Maybe you sway your branches side to side, but that's not necessary. You can hold it wherever you are. Take a deep breath in. And exhale, slowly release. And repeat the same thing on the opposite side. 
Again, find your drishti maybe before you come into the pose. Take the sole of your left foot, place it on the inner right leg. Option to stay here or option to place it wherever along the right leg you'd like. Hold, take a deep breath in. Maybe you grow some branches. And exhale, hold. Inhale. And exhale, slowly release. Shake it out, shake it out. If you shifted, return to mountain pose at the top of your mat. Inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, lift the torso roughly halfway, look straight ahead. Exhale, bend your knees generously so that the palms come onto the mat. And you're in a little squat position like so. From here, you're just gonna use your hands to kind of balance you out and walk all the way back into Shavasana. Palms facing up. And this is where I want you to just follow my voice and relax. Breathing in through your nose and out through your mouth. While you're resting in Savasana, maybe you Take some time to thank your body for the work it just put in. When you're ready, maybe you wiggle your toes and your fingers to bring some awareness back to the body. Or maybe you decide to lay in Shavasana a little longer. That's totally up to you. If you're ready, you can roll onto your favorite side body, coming into a fetal position. And slowly, when you're ready, find your way to a comfortable seat. I'm just gonna grab my bolster and sit on top of my bolster because it's here today. Life is a balance of holding on and letting go. It's hard to find balance in our everyday lives, but making conscious decisions to include practices like this one, or finding time to just do things that make us happy, and then sometimes we have to do the things we don't like. There's so many different ways we can find balance within ourselves. Just take some time to find some balance in your life today, and tomorrow, and all the other days after that. No, I'm just kidding, too much pressure, no. <laughs> Inhale, we're gonna reach the arms up overhead, close out together, press the palms, together overhead, exhale, let them fall to heart center. The teacher and student in me acknowledges the teacher and student in you. Namaste.